Fernandinho, green timed. Oh my god, what a goal, what a card. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we've got episode number 272 of the Road to Ronaldinho, completing a new SBC and some weekend league action. So let's get into it. So let's talk through the new content tonight, 6 pm Sunday. Um, we got the mini release, which we saw there, which we'll go for in a minute. Um, but we also got Hervin Lozano's card, four star, five star, very, very nice card. Uh, obviously, green across the board, apart from that uh, defending category. Um, he's coming in at 245k on PlayStation and 256k on Xbox, so a pretty decent price. Um, and it's two squads at 85 and an 86, which has sort of been the standard for, for these cards um, over the past few weeks. We also got Shapeshifters Challenge 6, which has a token in Blanaru. So make sure you're doing them because, yeah, once. Uh, 8th of July is it, or is it 25th of July? I think it's 8th of July hits, we'll start to uh, use them, so might as well get them while we can. Um, and then they've changed the player pick from just a icon moments to a 92 plus icon moments. Um, did I get on 92 plus when I did mine the other day? Either way, it's cheaper. Um, it says 86 there, but it's actually an 85 score, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, which you can see there. Um, so it's an 85, an 86, 87, and an 88. Coming in at 640k on PlayStation and 643k on Xbox. If you've got some fodder, uh, well worth trying that out. But yeah, today we're going to be doing the Fernandinho SBC. He's one that I was sort of um and ahhing about, but I think it's too good uh, an opportunity to miss. So we're using um, the... Uh, season whatever it was seven or eight or even six um we're using the uh the french player from level 30 uh, and then just plays to, to fit in around it um whatever players i have it's an 85 squad um i'm going to submit that i'm going to get fernandinho done a very very nice card it has to be said like when you look at his stats um with a hunter he's going to be all 90 plus but i think with the play the position he's going to be playing um, maybe an anchor might be best, even a catalyst um, in that sort of more defensive midfield role. But yeah, uh, a very, very nice guard indeed. So go get him into the team. Um, Andy Robertson's going to be coming out. We'll uh, send that to the club. Um, and then we're going to go into the, uh, the store and open that pack. Was it a prime election players pack we got for that? Um, 80 plus guaranteed. Can we get anything? Probably not. It's always worth opening just in case. And yeah, we don't get bored. Um, so yeah, hopefully a few cards that we don't have. Lovely stuff, um, and then we'll yeah, just quick sell those. Not too bothered about silvers at this point in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, now we need to get him into the team. Um, as I mentioned, he's going to play in that defensive midfield role. Um, so Robertson's going to drop out. Um, and that also means that uh, Kessie, despite him being amazing for me when we uh, had him in the club, how many games did he play for us? Uh, 140 games. Um, he's got to drop out just because of uh, ratings on the bench, get it up to uh, 95, um, and Fernandinho's going to come in. So he's going to be playing here. Also, green links into uh, De Bruyne and Ronaldinho. Uh, but yeah, we won't have any problems with chemistry. And I need a centre mid. A CDM to a centre mid card, which is probably going to be expensive. Um, annoyingly, but we'll uh, we'll pay it. Uh, no matter what it is, probably maybe 4k. Let's have a look. CDM to centre mid. Yeah, there's like barely any on the market. There's going to be a little sniping war to try and get one. Come on. Come on. Come on, where are you? already gone. EA needs to be at the market. There's one there. Oh, look at that price. 2600 as well. Come on, EA. There we go. Finally. Sniped. 5k for that. Mad. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll pay it just to, to make sure we can get uh, Fernandinho on full camp. But yeah, it looks like a, an amazing, amazing card. Um, so let me go here. Then we go position him. And then he's already on the 10 cam there, so we don't need to use the centre mid cam um, only really later on. Uh, but yeah, if you look at his stats, medium high, 4 4, green across the board. Let me look at Footbin next to me, see what um, chem styles they're talking about. Where is he? Coming at 219k now, and Hunter. Yeah, it's, it's what I was going to go for anyway, but it's a Hunter or an engine. An engine obviously boosts his agility and balance. But yeah, I think we'll go for the Hunter for the, uh, the more well rounded card, or well, it will be more of the, the defensive. Player in the uh, the midfield too, but it also means that uh, Jao Cancelo go back to fullback. But I'm not too bothered about that. He was good in midfield, don't get me wrong. But um, to have Fernand Fernandinho in um, will be even better. So yeah, that's how we're going to line up in game. Uh, change my uh, three five two as well. Um, so Cancelo's going to be the fullback, Vieira in at centre back, um, and then move Diaz to that right centre back there, and then bang done. So that's uh, the team sorted. Fernandinho's in there. Lovely, lovely addition. Obviously, we've got Silas on the bench. A few more shapeshifters as well. 
go through the uh, mini release now, which is pretty decent to be fair. Um, EA have done very well in Team 2, and there's supposed to be Team two, uh, two, 3 and 4 coming as well. Um, so the first one in mini release, where are you? There is Adama Traore, 4 star, 5 star, centre forward around the right wing, and yeah, is what the perfect super stuff like. We've known Adama's been good on FIFA for a number of years now. The second one is, where is he? Uh, Emre Chan, um, so he's a centre back from centre mid, three star, four star, but yeah, lovely, lovely stats apart from obviously the yellow ones there, but not really important for a centre back. Nice uh, agility and balance, probably similar to Chiellini, obviously Chiellini's got the better defending physical, but um, a very nice card indeed. And the third and final one is the uh, Thiago Mendes card, so it could be nice for our Brazil team. Um, but yeah, uh, is it a gladiator chem style that will boost his shooting and defending, um, which will make him Hullet Gang, I believe. Uh, but yeah, green across the board and a, a nice card potentially to start right back and move into midfield. But yeah, that's uh, all the content. We're going to play some weekly league games now, test out this Fernandinho card. Probably only play two, three, maybe two, depending on the timing. Uh, but yeah, we are currently eight and one. It's got 11 games to play. We'll, put, we'll play three games this episode, uh, play a few off camera, and then back in tomorrow's video for the final few games and rewards. So yeah. Let's get into it. First up, uh, nice Syria team um, with that midfield, and then moving into like Alisson, Van Dijk, Marquinhos, Hello, Nuno Mendes as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can get the win, and uh, Fernandinho's a pretty good addition. Oh, go on, Dino. Square it. Vieira, 1 0. The DM getting the goal. We get a pause. Oh, we're getting the rage trip. We are indeed. So a lovely start to the game. Uh, and yeah, probably Vieira was maybe third or fourth goal. He doesn't score many. Don't know why he's that far up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to beat 9 and 1. Next up, we've got Vieira, Son, Vettel, Carlos, Tim Kale. You don't see him quite a lot. Uh, Koulibaly and Chile is going to be a very hard centre-back combination to uh, break down, but hopefully uh, same result as the uh, last game. Let's hold it. Go on, Fernandinho. Go on, Fernandinho. Ah, needs to score that. Oh, go on. Oh, go on, Mbappe. Mbappe! Ah, oh, how has that not gone in? Go on. Good ball. Knock it back. Oh, come on. And again. Let's go. 1-0. Get slightly lucky, but we'll take it. Come on. Right. Come on, Vlahovic. Come on. Let's go. 2 0. We get the pause. Are oh, we getting the rage quit? We are indeed. So, just like that, they're a decent opponent. Same formation as Vlahovic with two goals. First one, slightly lucky, but we'll take those. I and mean, yeah, we're going to be 10 and 1. For the final game of the episode, we've got Kante, we've got uh, Diaby, Fakir, Neymar, Red Neymar as well. Uh, play them with Mbappe um, and a few more nice players. Yeah, hopefully, we can end on a win. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be 11 and 1. Drill. One more. Fernandinho, green timed. Oh my god. What a goal. What a card. 1 0. Offside. No, he dropped too deep. Watch Mbappe at the back post. Ah, come on. Poor offside trap. Nice. Cross. Vlahovic. Unlucky. Big head. Anyone. Go on. Let's go. We get lucky, but we'll take it. 2 1. And again. Poor defending. Does the same thing every time. And I can't do anything about it. Where is the defence? There. So bad. Nice. One more. Go on. Go on, Silas. Let's go. Oh, he's upside. One more. Come on. Let's go. Oh, come on. Need time most to end, but I did the same. Yeah, uh, disappointing defeat. So we're going to be a uh, ten and two. But yeah, when you can see what three of the same identical goal and then uh, let alone through ball through, it's going to happen. Um, like all the same, coming back in, looking for that pass on the floor, extra man, um, and then yeah, turn back on himself. The Keir one's going to be quite identical again, coming down that wing, ball into the middle, bangs it into the, the corner. Same for this one. I just couldn't defend it. I really couldn't defend that. Um, there's always extra pass. Uh, and yeah, my man just kind of stood there. And then this was like a, a bit of a long through ball-ish. Defence nowhere to be seen. Round to keeper. Uh, and yeah, uh, we get the defeat. But hey-ho, it's not the end of the world. It's June. Pretty much July. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be 10 and 2 to finish today's episode. So yeah, probably play like four games off camera. Um, four or five games. Um, and then see where we are. And then do the rewards in tomorrow's video as well. We should have player picks and... Some more mega icon content, depending on we get from player picks as well. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button. Let us know if you've used this Fernandinho, what you think of him. Or the Lozano card. Or if you've done the player pick, what did you get from it. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.